Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I will be discussing a persuasive essay for high school students not to join the United States military right out of high school. Accelerate your life. This is a slogan used in ads of the United States Navy. They make you believe that the Navy is an elite fighting unit that is America's prod. They want you to believe that you will receive every opportunity to excel and to achieve greatness. I will admit that the Navy has its benefits, but at what price? This is the real question. Honesty and friendship are all of the things that you should expect to receive from a recruiter, and that's what they want you to believe. Recruiters are the friendliest people in the entire world. First, they make their introduction and tell you all the wonderful things and adventures you will have in the United States Navy. The recruiter will also hook you with all the benefits and the ways it can make your life blossom. What they don't tell you is that every recruiter, doesn't matter what service you're interested in, has a quota, and that quota reflects on the recruiter's performance mark average on his evaluation. If he meets the quota every month, he gets a good evaluation at the end of the year, and if he doesn't meet that quota, then he will get an under par evaluation, or even can be subject to non-judicial punishment. So in simple language, he will do whatever it takes to bend the truth to keep you interested and to get you to sign on that dotted line. First, they'll tell you the benefits of free medical and dental care. Then you will hear about the GI Bill and how you can put yourself through college. Then they will tell you all these unbelievable sea stories about the adventures of seeing the world. Now here comes the catch. The free dental and medical care isn't free. It actually does cost money. It might not be a lot, but it does cost money. Then, when you go to the medical doctor, he tell, and he can't even ever tell you what's wrong. He thinks that Motrin is the fix-all for every illness. I conducted a command survey, and out of 300 personnel, 278, when asked about military medical, replied that it was a waste of time to even go. Next, the GI Bill really is a great deal. One of the few great deals. But, to get the GI Bill, you have to pay $100 a month for 12 months. It doesn't sound like much, but at least they can at least tell you about it. Then, when you try to use the GI Bill, it can take up to 24 months to receive compensation for college. Last but not least is the personal rights of a military member. Your body is no longer yours to do with as you please. You can't even get a sunburn because that would be destruction of government property. I would like to use a personal example to illustrate my last point. We were in a foreign country, and one of my friends was very intoxicated. He slipped on the wet tile outside of a bar and fell into a glass door. He cracked the door on accident, but at the time he did not realize that he had done so. The military police were called, and our entire group was detained. We were held for nine hours before anyone came and talked to us about the events of the night. Once an officer came into the room, my friend asked him for a lawyer to explain, him, to explain to him what is happening and to explain our rights. The officer replied with, son, you're in the United States military, you have no rights, then walked out of the room. Later we researched this and they were absolutely correct. They did not have to provide us with a lawyer at any point or any given time and could have held us up to any amount of hours they felt like. In conclusion, kids stay in school. Graduate from college and then make up your mind with what you want to do with the rest of your life. Have choices with your life. Don't just give yourself one avenue because, uh, because then you could be committed yourself to four years of something you don't wish you want to do. So don't always believe that you, with what you see on TV because that Marine with the sword fighting the dragon doesn't mean that you're going to be the one fighting the dragon. Thank you.